Yes. Perfect. Good afternoon, everybody. Good to see you here. I think everyone is a bit tired already, but uh, happy to see you here. And uh, my name is Aram Jivanyan. I am cryptography advisor of Zcoin. And uh, we will discuss today Lilantus, a new private transaction protocol that I have been working on during the last few months and which will come to Zcoin networks early 2020. Zcoin is a privacy coin, mostly adopted in the Asian markets, which is using the zero coin protocol invented by Jan Mears and Matthew Green in 2013. Zero coin uses RSA accumulators and enables users to mint coins of fixed denomination and then spend those coins anonymously and provide some zero knowledge proof that the spent coin is valid without revealing its origin. But from the performance point of view, it has some drawbacks. The proof sizes are quite large. They take up to 25 kilobytes. The proof verification can take 300 milliseconds. And the size of the anonymity set should be limited to 10,000 due to practical issues. And it doesn't enable confidential transactions of arbitrary amounts and still requires some type of trusted setup in order to generate the RSA parameters. Although Zcoin found some uh, smart work around, around this and did using the RSA uh, factoring challenge parameters generated in 1991. But with Lelantus, we hope to fix all these functional constraints. It's a new protocol enabling fully uh, confidential and anonymous transactions without requiring a trusted setup, relying solely on standard cryptographic assumptions, and ensuring that the transaction proofs are small, they are less than two kilobytes, and the verification is quite fast. We will, uh, we will uh, see the numbers in the, in the diagram. Okay. So just to give high level insights how it works, it, uh, it uh, supports two transactions, again enables the users to mint and join split transactions. Uh, mint enables to take uh, as many inputs from the base coin layer as necessary to output new coins, which can hide arbitrary amounts. And the transaction comes with a balance proof, ensuring that the transaction entries sum up and with range proofs for each output, ensuring that no output coin contains a negative value. And the joint split transaction will enable to split, merge, or redeem previously minted coins without revealing their origins. And in order to provide anonymity, the main building block used here is the one out of many proofs protocol, which is uh, invented by Jens Crow and Marcus Colways and uh, which is beautiful enough, cryptographic primitive, and contains all necessary data to also provide a balance proof for transactions. This diagram illustrates how the protocol compares with Monero, zero cash, and original zero coin. You can see that we can support high enough anonymity sets of the size of two to the power 16, while keeping the proof sizes lower than two kilobytes, and making sure that the verification that thousands of transactions can be processed in a single block. Yeah, and the motivation behind building Lelantos is simple. We want to provide an alternative solution for private transactions which doesn't require a trusted setup and is solely based on standard cryptographic assumptions, 
and which in my opinion is also very interesting is easy to implement and easy to audit and if you wonder what Lelantus does mean it is a name of Titan God from Greek mythology who could move unseen without being detected so find me afterwards if you have any question regarding to the protocol details or yeah, yeah we have time for a couple of questions uh, right now Thanks a lot. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, is there a paper um, peer reviewed at the conference? Like, or where, where can I find a paper with the security proof and everything? Thanks. Not sure if it's peer reviewed, but it's published already. You can find it at lilantus.io. And we had the chance to discuss it with few cryptographers, including Jens Crow. And uh, Benedict was very helpful also to come up with ideas with modified versions of bulletproofs but it's not published in any peer-reviewed cryptography conference yet. Thanks. Hi. Hello. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> Over here. Sorry. So, the size, since you said you're using a Sigma protocol, the size of the proof is growing linearly with the number of transactions? No. The proof size uh, is not growing linearly with the number of transactions. Actually, the proof time and verification times are growing linearly, but the proof size are parameterizable. If you have a, uh, if you have n transactions and n is uh, two to the power of sixteen, then it grows linearly to the exponent value to sixteen. Thanks. Yes, my All right. I guess uh, let's uh, thank her up. Thank you. Now we do.